Um, basically, this is um, a YouTube channel called uh, The Spirit of Speed. Um, I'm introduce, uh, introducing Frank Burgess today. I used to work with Frank um, quite some time ago at p a Wood. He's going to tell us a, a few stories about his, his time working there and how much he enjoyed the time there. So I'm just to hand you over to Frank now and he can carry on and tell you about all the stories. So. Yeah. Okay, Dean. Well, well, I started working with you and your colleagues some 12 years ago now. Um, I'd been in, in an administrative job, uh, although I'd repaired my own cars at times, and um, I saw the job advertised, and uh, I went along, and um, they gave me the job. So I started work there. Um, who, who interviewed you? Was it... And Andrew Woods. Or yeah, Andrew Woods. Andrew, right. And then they asked me to go back a second visit, and I was still working for notice, so I turned up in collar and tie, and was usual business suit. But the second time, I was interviewed by the man who would become my supervisor. Right. Okay. And he asked me a few questions, and they must have decided to give me a give me a go. <laughs> um, I started, and I wandered in. I had a book. Uh, overalls and I had a small two bo toolbox with some basic tools and uh, I remember one of the you know your uh, Ashley as you well yeah, remember, uh, yes, and uh, him saying to me well that's strange and I said well what what's strange and he said well you've actually brought some tools he said usually people come here and start work and expect to use mine <laughs> <laughs> that sounds about right so, uh, <laughs> I mean, the first, the initial month or six weeks was pretty tough. I mean, I I'd been doing admin yeah. role really, yeah, yeah. so um, working on cars was physically very right, tough okay. for me. And I did gearboxes one after another right, after okay. another, and as you know, it's uh, so. What department was you in, Frank? Just um, to let people know, it was called the post-war right. department. So I was working on cars built after the war. Uh, up to about the late 60s, yeah, so it didn't include the shadow. No, so up to S3 basically. S3, S3 or yes. Silver Cloud 3, S3, basically. Cloud 3. Yeah. Um, so that's what I worked on. Um, gradually I moved on to other things, yeah. and typically the, uh, they taught me how they wanted servicing done, so I'd strip carburetors, strip ignition systems, rebuild them, and they were all tested by the by the inspector, yeah. Um, but fairly early on, I think you know they showed me how to do things, and yeah. I did it exactly how they wanted. Right. Okay. And uh, that seemed, I think, to them to be a a good arrangement. Yeah. Because I I did it exactly as they wanted. Yes. Because I wasn't actually a car mechanic. Yeah. I had no preconceived ideas. Right. Yes. About yes. Doing stuff. Yeah. I just did it their way. Yeah. Which was fine. And yeah and adjustments and stuff like that, I make a note of what they were, so that right. when I went back to do that job, I could set it up, and when the inspector came along, because it was right. Yeah. And, um, yeah, I, I, I enjoyed it immensely. I mean, working on, really, the customers' cars, which were the, really the best examples yes. that were uh, available, yeah. was very, very nice. Yeah. And, and uh, you know, often cars would come in, beautiful coach built things yeah. and I'd wax poetic out over them. I won't say what the other engineers said to me. <laughs> but they didn't have quite my enthusiasm. No. But it was very funny. Oh, and, excellent. Uh, I remember I'd been there about three months and we were having tea. And we had tea with your lot, yeah. Dean, who worked on the moderns. And, yeah. and I remember there was some comment and, uh, and I thought, I didn't understand. I said, what do you mean by... Yeah. And uh, your foreman said to me, he said, I think we'd better own up. And I said, what? what? He said, we'll be running a book on you that you wouldn't oh, last more than three yeah. months. <laughs> and I laughed, and we were all laughing. <laughs> well, I said, I hope somebody's made some money. Yeah. So it was jolly good. Yeah. And, and, and uh, sometimes I, I started getting asked to go out and deliver cars. Yeah. Because often, having worked in London mm. and... The surroundings all my working life. Yeah. Um, I'd been on the road a lot. I yeah. knew where most things are. Yeah. And sometimes their drivers didn't. Yeah. So I I drove some beautiful cars yeah. to customers oh, and I uh, really yeah. enjoyed it. You know everything from a you know an early Phantom, yeah. pre-war Phantom, 
to a, I remember a beautiful uh, Bentley, it would be an S2, but coach built, yeah. drop head. Yeah. Heavens above. They so nice big, cars, yeah. really nice cars. And uh, the Bentley GT, yeah. I delivered those. I delivered Derby Bentleys. Mm. Um, so you had a good scope of different cars yeah. you could dri have driven there. Yeah. That's yeah. quite an experience it in itself, really, yeah. isn't it? Because so. there was the lorry as well. Yeah. I also <laughs> drove the lorry. And, uh, Exciting in itself. Yeah. 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 But uh, tell us about the time when you uh, had to go down to the body shop and take the exhaust off car. Talk oh, about, the, about the the other employees there and how, how you gelled with them. And yeah. Yeah, I, I, an example of how I was surprised was that uh, I'd, I was working on a car in the body shop and I'd had to get the exhaust manifold off and it had been on there a long time and once I got it off, one stud broke and I remember thinking, how, how on earth am I going to get this broken stud out and mm. replace it? And uh, the two guys there, I didn't normally work with, one was the sheet metal man, yeah. a lovely man highly skilled and the other was the foreman of the body shop and they must have noticed what I was doing and, and one of them said to me don't, don't worry about it Frank um, it's tea break then let's go and have a cup of tea so I, off I said oh, all right so I've, I went and had me a cup of tea and I'm probably sitting there thinking my oh, god how am I going to do that I went back to the body shop to think it and they'd done it for me they'd removed yeah. the stud there I said you know how to make the stud up, was it? Yeah. yeah. Thanks very much. Oh, that's brilliant, isn't it? And it was a, an so element that kept happening that, although they everybody knew mm. I wasn't a car mechanic, mm. I hadn't served me time like yeah. they had, nevertheless, they seemed to accept me. Yeah. And um, uh, no, it worked very well, yeah. and that's very pleasant. Mm. And many of those men, I still count as my friends today. Oh, that's lovely. And I visit where they work yeah. and they're pleased to see me, yeah. I think. <laughs> and we have a good laugh. Yeah. You know.